But now that we've got our scarf joints all made, we're ready to do the actual uh, gluing up of the joint. And uh, we have our two pieces that we finished gently sanding to make a nice tapered edge. Um, we've got a clamping block that we're going to use to apply force down onto the joint. Uh, we've got some regular old household uh, wax paper to make sure that the uh, glue and the clamps don't stick to one another. We've pre-mixed our epoxy, in this case it's T88. I've got a squeegee for help uh, spreading the glue. It makes a nice even uh, amount of uh, glue over the entire joint. And then I've got, a, we're using this as a straight edge. One edge of our board has been finished uh, cut and the other is uh, left uh, uncut at this point and we'll cut it to shape when we're all done. Uh, so the simplest thing to do is um, use your glue and put it out, pour it out into your uh, scarf joint and after you do a couple of these you'll know exactly just how much uh, glue you want to mix better to have too much than too little the first time you go out okay I'm going to take uh, my top piece lay it on the scarf joint and I, in this instance, I want the bottom edge, which, like I said, we've already cut and shaped perfectly. I want it to be absolutely uh, square. So that's where our straight edge comes into hand. We're going to use it and some quick release uh, clamps to apply a little pressure to both of the straight edges. Keep them together. So now we have a nice straight edge along the bottom of our scarf joint. And we're going to take our pressure plate, which is going to actually apply the force while the glue dries. With your three uh, clamps, or however many you choose, um, you've applied pressure using your pressure plate onto the uh, scarf joint. You don't need to use a massive amount of pressure. Matter of fact, you don't want to squeeze out all your glue. You just want enough pressure to hold the pieces together while the epoxy cures. So we've allowed our uh, epoxy to cure uh, overnight on our um, spliced scarf joint. And before I forget, I want to give you two little tips. Um, one, be sure to keep your pot that you mixed your epoxy in. So when it comes time to uh, take your setup apart, you know that that glue is uh, good and hard. It's a good indication what's going on in the pot as to what's going on in your scarf joint. So if you're working in a cooler temperature or different environment, you may need to give the uh, epoxy more time. The other thing is, um, be sure to write down when you mix the epoxy, that way you know exactly uh, how much time it's had to cure. In this instance, I just wrote it right here, uh, 10.30 a.m. on Friday on our piece of uh, blocking. So what we're gonna do is just um, loosen our clamps, clamping pressure, and take our blocking off.
and there is our nice new scarf joint. Last thing we're going to do is sand it all smooth on both sides and get it ready for the layup.